Welcome to another Ziva Math video. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at dividing fractions and whole numbers, including dividing a whole number by a unit fraction and dividing a unit fraction by a whole number. Before we get to our examples, let's go over the steps. Your first step will be to turn the whole number into a fraction, regardless of where it is in the problem. You need to make your whole number a fraction. Then you'll follow the same steps for dividing fractions. You will leave the first fraction exactly the same. It doesn't matter whether this first fraction was originally the whole number or originally a fraction. It needs to stay the same. Then you'll turn your division sign to multiplication and multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. Once you have your work set up, you are multiplying fractions, numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. Let's take a look at our examples. For our first example, we have a whole number divided by a unit fraction. We have 6 divided by a fourth. And your first step is going to be with the 6, the whole number, you have to turn it into a fraction. And to turn a whole number into a fraction, we put it over 1. Then our division steps. That first fraction, whether it was a fraction or a whole number that we turned into a fraction, that first number stays exactly the same. So 6 over 1 is going to remain 6 over 1. Then our division sign. Our division sign, we're turning it into multiplication sign. And we're multiplying by the reciprocal of the second fraction. So the reciprocal of 1 fourth is 4 over 1. Our denominator becomes the numerator, and the numerator becomes the denominator. Now that we have our problem set up, we're multiplying fractions. So we have numerator times numerator, 6 times 4, 6 times 4 is 24, and our denominator times denominator, 1 times 1, 1 times 1 is 1. And 24 over 1 simplifies to 24. So our final answer is our whole number 24. Our second example is a unit fraction divided by a whole number, so 1 fourth divided by 3. We're going to work it the same way. Looking at our whole number, we have to turn it into a fraction. 3 as a fraction is 3 over 1. Then we're going to work through our division steps. So this first number, 1 fourth, stays exactly the same. So 1 fourth remains exactly the same. Looking at our division sign, that division sign is becoming a multiplication sign. And then looking at the second number in our problem, 3, or 3 over 1 as we have it now, we're multiplying by the reciprocal of 3 over 1. So the reciprocal of 3, 3 over 1, is 1 third. Our denominator becomes a numerator, the numerator becomes the denominator. Then we're simply multiplying fractions, numerator times numerator. So 1 times 1, 1 times 1 is 1, and then denominator times denominator. 4 times 3 is 12. So our final answer is 1 twelfth. For our third example, we have 5 divided by 3 eighths, so a whole number divided by a fraction. We're going to start with the whole number. We have to make that whole number into a fraction, so we're going to put the 5 over 1 to turn it into a fraction. Then with our division steps, this first number, 5 over 1, is going to stay exactly the way it is, 5 over 1. Then we're going to look at the division sign. That division sign we are changing. We're changing the division sign to the multiplication sign. And we are multiplying by the reciprocal of that second fraction. So 3 eighths, taking the reciprocal of it is 8 thirds. And once we have our problem set up, we're multiplying fractions. So we have numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. So 5 times 8, 5 times 8 is 40. And then our denominator times denominator, 1 times 3 is 3. So we get 40 thirds. And if you can leave your answer as an improper fraction, you can go ahead and leave it 40 thirds. You're done. But we're going to go ahead and practice turning this into a mixed number for those of you who need to change your answer into a mixed number. Your numerator goes on the inside. Your denominator goes on the outside because we're going to divide our numerator by the denominator. So 4 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. We're going to subtract. We get 1. 4 minus 3 is 1. We're bringing the 0 down. 
Now we have 10 divided by 3. 10 divided by 3 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9, and you are subtracting. 10 minus 9 is 1. So as a mixed number, we're going to take the quotient. The quotient becomes our whole number, so 13 is our whole number. Our remainder of 1 becomes the numerator, and our denominator of 3 remains the same. And we need to check and see if we need to simplify. 1 third is already simplified, so 13 and 1 third is our final answer. For our final example, we have 2 ninths divided by 4. And our first step is to deal with our whole number. We have to turn our whole number into a fraction, and we do that by putting 4 over 1. Then we're going to look at our first number in our problem, the 2 ninths. 2 ninths has to stay exactly how it is. So 2 ninths, when we rewrite and show our work, will remain 2 ninths. Then our division sign, we're changing our division sign into a multiplication sign. And we are multiplying by the reciprocal of our second fraction. The reciprocal of 4 over 1 is 1 fourth. Denominator becomes our numerator, and the numerator becomes our denominator. Now we're ready to take our multiplication steps. So numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. However, if you look closely, we have 2 and 4. 2 and 4 share a common factor of 2, so I can do some simplifying here before moving on. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. Now I have numerator times numerator, 1 times 1 is 1, and denominator times denominator, 9 times 2 is 18, for a final answer of 1 18th. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to Ziva Math for more videos.